What's up? It's your boy Herm here, yet with another video. This time, new comic book day haul, August 26th. But before we get to that, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ding, 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 that bell for notification for future videos. And now, let's get to the video. First up, I'm going to do some indies from IDW, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Dead Game. Number issue number one, Rob Lightfield Goodness. He drew the writer, artist, did all, all him. Controversial guy. Some people love him, some people don't. I like him. G.I. Joe or something I loved when I was a kid. And uh, Snake Eyes is one of my favorite characters, so I had to pick it up. Next up, from Dynamite, Mars Attack Red Sonia. Um, I picked it up because I, I like the cover. It's Red Sonia. It's got the axe. It's ready to whoop. Some alien tushy. Um, yeah, man. Pretty much why I picked it up. Thing is about these Red Sonias, they're actually pretty good. People think, like, it's just, uh, you know... Showing a lot of skin there, but she's pretty good. Next, from Boom Studios, Mega Man Fully Charged. Um, I guess Mega Man number two. Nintendo game was my favorite game. Um, one of my favorite all-time games. I had to pick it up, Boom Studios. My favorite indie title. My favorite indie publisher, that is. So that's, that's that. Now this next one, I have a few of them from AWA. Artist and writer, and I keep forgetting what the other A means. But, um, Bad Mother, number one, the B cover. It's a five-issue series. Um, I don't know what it's about yet. I'll read it. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. The next one. It's one of my favorite issues right now. Red Border number four. Issue number four. It's the last one four of four. Um, writer J Jason Starr. Um, it's mostly about this couple trying to escape uh, the Mexican cartel. A lot of bad things happen. They run into other bad people to try to cross the border into America. I really like this series. If you like a good series, get that one. Last one from AWA. Last indie for the week. Year Zero number four of five. Um, this one's like a alien, not alien, look, I'm way wrong. Zombie type, apocalypse type things going on here. One of my favorites out of this publisher. How to get it. That's it with the indies. Next up, DC Comics. First up, Superman Action Comic. Issue number 1024. Uh, Brian, Michael De Brian Michael Bendis is the writer. Uh, John Romita Jr., the artist. Um, every time I see a Superman cover uh, issue, I get it. Um, I always do. It's like automatic to me. Love Superman. But um, this run, Brian McAbendis, I'm not too sure about it. His run on it. Not digging it. I'm not the only one. Um, let's go to the next one. Now this one, Batman Three Jokers. This one might be not only my pick of the week, maybe my pick of the month or my pick of the year. Who knows? Uh, it's the only out of the batch that I've read so far. I had to. Um, this one, this first one, it's the A cover. Issue number one, the A cover. Jeff Jones, Jason Fabok. I'm saying that right. A cover for it for him. This cover, and then the second one, they consider it the E cover. Has uh, the red hood helmet, his whole red hood thing. 
but yeah, these covers, man, they're, they're, they're awesome. I love them. Um, I was tempted to get all five of the main covers. But, it's a long haul this week. Next, Batman Beyond. Um, I haven't been reading them lately because I kind of want to get started from the very beginning and go through them again. But I'm going to keep getting the cartoon from back in 2000. Who doesn't love that? Bruce Wayne is old. This guy takes over. So um, here we go. Number 46. Issue number 46. Next up, Batgirl. Number 48. This is the A cover. Um, it's a uh, part of the Joker horror tie-ins. Um, I've been liking all the stories about it, so I can't wait to dig into that. This is the A cover. Uh, then this is the B cover. I, th I thought it was gorgeous. It's like, man, I already got it, but have to get it so. next up detective comics oh, detective comics number 1026 um peter j tomasi i think he's doing a good job in this series right now some people think it's up and down i think it's pretty good i'm enjoying i'm enjoying the, the series so far so i can't wait to dig into this one What? Another Batman title. Batman and Superman, number 11. Uh, Joshua Williamson. I like him as a writer. This one is on and off for me. I mean, I like in the series. But still had to get it. I think they might be canceling it soon. Let's read that. Now, the next two start with this one. It's the Dark Knight Death Metal, number two. This is the second print, Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. I mean, come on, you know what I mean? Had to get it, second prints. And these days, second print people, spec book right here. People go after this low print. There's another one, Metal Legends of the Dark Knight. I don't remember why this was important. There's like a big, I think it's the Robin King. Um, let me know in the link, in the comment in the link, comment down below and let me know if that's, if I'm right about that. But this is the second print, um, Legend of the Dark Knight, love it. I read these two, I'm enjoying the Dark Knight series. Next up, The Flash, number, issue number 760. Joshua Williams, some goodness. His run's coming to an end soon. Um, it's my favorite DC series. Most consistent one. Since the beginning, his beginning of the run and everything. I can't wait to reread that whole series. Now, this one I bought because it's part of the Joker Wars. Um, Red Hood Outlaw, issue number 48. Pretty much why I got it. I don't really get this series. I like Jason Todd, but I can't get every series. And then this one, it's come to an end soon too. Suicide Squad, issue number eight. Tom Taylor. He's doing good, man. That's a good dude. I'm, I'm hoping they give him a Marvel will give him a Spider-Man title again or something, cause this guy's awesome. Suicide Squad number eighty. I mean, number eight, number eight. The next one is uh, Teen Titans, annual number two. Written by Adam Glass and Robbie Thompson. Um, I don't know what this one's about. I know uh, Damien Robin, son of Batman. You know what I mean? He's had a lot of issues. He broke away from Batman, do, trying to do his own thing. He caught him. Excuse me. Kind of messed that up. 
see what that's about. And last but not least from DC, Wonder Woman, issue number 761. She's got something in her eye right there. Mariko Tamaki is the writer. Carlos Barber is the artist. Um, I hope I like it. I don't know. The series is... Hmm. But that's it for DC. Let's go to Marvel. Oh, before I get to the Marvel, I have forgot that with these two covers of the three Jokers, I got Joker playing card. Batman. Like, and then, like, of course, in the back it has I said three Jokers in it. Um, yeah, man. I, I enjoy these things. I was like, I'm glad to have little things like this. Little things make you happy. Um, I think in the back of the first, this first issue, and then the Batman B cover, I think the same cover's in the back, and you can take it out. But I definitely don't want to do that. That's that. Batman is my favorite DC character, and one of two of my all-time favorite characters of anything. This next one, Amazing Spider-Man. He is my favorite character. Um, this is issue number 47. Um, legacy number is 848. Um, this is in the middle of The Sins Rising. Nick Spencer run. Uh, Nick Spencer's on and off with me. I like some of his stuff. But he's taking way too long. Um, we all want to know who this Kendrick character is. That's the big baddie um since the new comic book day issue two years ago when he first started nick spencer so um i've been liking the last two issues hopefully this one's good too there we go and that's why we'll keep on with the spider-man spider-man noir number three um i think since the pandemic uh number two came out a while ago this one finally came out with the number three of noir um i kind of forgot i'm gonna have to go back and reread and see what this is about but of course i'm gonna pick that up and then last of the spider-man related comic books the last issue of ghost spider number 10 um issue number 10 I like this run, um, and I had to finish it. I got it from the beginning. This is one of the one, the titles they canceled in, in the beginning of the pandemic run, and I felt like I had to finish it. So this is the last one of that issue. Uh, move on to probably my favorite series, consistent series in a while with Marvel. It's uh, Daredevil. This is annual number one. Written by Chip Zardaski. Um, he also did the cover to this. And uh, I've been liking the series so much. It might be my Marvel favorite. That's saying a lot because, you know, Venom is pretty good too. Thor has been good. So I had to get that one. Next up is the Fantastic Four. Issue number one. Antitheist, written by Mark Wade, covered by Neil Adams, and the art, art and cover by Neil Adams. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that one's good. I love Fantastic Four, uh, Marvel's First Family. No, can't go wrong with that. I love it. Next one is uh, Iron Man 2020 number six, Dan Slott, former Spider Man writer. Uh, yeah, this series, I'm not digging it, but I got it to finish the series. I hope the new run comes is better. I, I didn't like that slot. In the beginning, it was pretty good, but this 2020 thing, I'm glad it's over. And Star Wars, number three, Dr. Afra. I love Star Wars. Um, 
I don't know much about this character. I read the first two issues. I don't remember much about it. I have to go back and read it again. But I'm hoping they said her first series, the omnibus of that series is coming out next year. And if that does come out, I'm going to get it. Because I love anything of the Star Wars world. Why not? Next is a unpopular series. Um, not many people like it. Some people do, some people don't. Empire. This is uh, the Avengers issue number three. Um, this the, the uh once I started getting the main cover of the Empire, I decided to read all the tie-ins. Some people are like, why do you do that? For like doing it. I don't think I'm digging the Avengers part too much, but um, I'm gonna finish it. This is Empire, the tie-in Captain America number three. I actually been liking the Captain America one. A lot of Captain America in it, issue number three. Hopefully it's good. And this has been my favorite out of the Empire tie-ins. This is actually X-Men issue number 11. Jonathan Hitman. Super popular since last year. His run is spectacular. Um, there's a lot of X-Men titles out now, so people are starting to get fatigue. Little uh, X-Men fatigue, I'm not. The more X-Men, the better for me. I love it. Loving the run. Hope it continues to be good. And the X-Men Empire is also like a, a zombie zombie versus a plants. Plant versus zombie. There you go. The game. I'm digging it. The next one. Hellions number three. Issue number three. This series, it's okay. I'm not loving it, but I don't know. Like Dawn of X, as long as it keeps going, I probably keep continue with them. I enjoy it. I still enjoy it, even if it's bad. I still enjoy it somehow. And this is X Factor number two, issue number two from X Factor. Again, I probably have to read the first one again. I don't remember what happened in the first one. And then this one, last but not least, this is a Chris Claremont and Brent Eric Anderson. This is part of a trade. The, what do you call that? The God Loves Man Kills trade. This is number two. This is the B cover number two. They took the trade and cut it into two issues this is like a director's cut type I enjoyed the first one so it's Chris Claremont classic legend and that's it I hope you like the video I hope you like my haul anything comment down below if you like any of these issues if you picked up any of these issues let me know. Until next time, peace out.